a very big hello to my wonderful champions out there. I hope all my dear children are doing good. Well, this video is going to be very, 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 very important for your future. And I am going to prove you why do I say so in this particular video with a question in front of you that is why should you consider Comet K? What exactly is Comet K? It's an examination. It's an all India level examination where basically you are looking forward to join the colleges which are there in Karnataka. Ma'am, are there some good colleges in Karnataka? Obviously, yes. Not some, but many. Starting with RV College of Engineering, MSRIT, BMS, so many colleges are there. Right. Now, getting into these colleges, uh, there are for getting into these colleges, there are multiple options. One is giving KCAT examination that is just for Karnataka students, None, not for anyone else. Okay. And, um, and also certain people who have their own eligibility, but mostly for Kar Karnataka students. Now, talking about uh, other resources, that is management quota seats, NRI seats, this and that. And what else? There is Comet K. And this is an option which is lesser known. You do not know about this option. So many people do not know. And I'll tell you three things why you should exactly consider this exam. Strictly MCQ based, so there will be three, uh, what do you call subjects, physics, chemistry, as well as mathematics, three of them with 60, 60, 60 questions, total 180 marks. Okay, all of them MCQ based. Now, next good part of the story is that there is no negative marking. So if at all you think that you do not know the answer and you still give a tick and probably by something, by some tukka work, it worked. In that case also, you give, you get marks and if it, it does not work you do not lose anything because as i said there is no negative marking now the third thing is that 67 percent of the questions are from your pu2 or 12th syllabus and i believe that all of you might be in your 12th grade any 11th graders out there who are pre-planning for their journey then comment down in the comment section below and those of you who are in your pu2 do not forget to hit on the like button because this video is going to be super good for you you know what every time i throw the pen because of the josh just a second okay so i was talking about this thing so 67 percent of the questions are from your pu2 and why is it a good news because my dear children as of now you are in pu2 anyway you are going to cover the syllabus entirely because your boards would be coming that means you are saving yourself since this huge percentage of questions are going to come from the same syllabus that you are as of now covering so that's the best part of the story now there is one more bestest part and that is you can get entry into the top colleges and now i'm going to talk about that before i begin i also want to give you a heads up on one very important thing that is when you talk about comet k a what do you call a negative thing if at all you are being asked that is the fees the fees is slightly on the higher side when in comparison to kct and it becomes a good news when you compare it with some other examinations out there because the, uh, comparing to other examination comet k would be somewhere in the middle Okay, so it's not like uh, Jasmine ma'am didn't tell you the truth or uh, you were unaware of th th those things, which is why I'm telling you right away, this catch is there. But if at all, if at all you're getting good colleges via Comet K, and I, I think that this could be nullifying that. Why do I say so? The first college that I have over here is RVC College of Engineering. RV College of Engineering, it's on Mysore Road, Bangalore. Now, these are the courses which are available in this particular college. So many people compete to get into this college. Why? Because every year, if we look at the highest CTC, it is 56 LPA or beyond that or somewhere around that. The average CTC itself was 15.2 LPA this particular year, my dear children. Do you think it's a small number? Just think, you are a fresher who got into college, you're getting out of the college, you're getting into a new company with this huge package with almost which almost only a few percent of Indians have in, in, in our country, my dear children. So don't you think it's a big deal? Obviously, yes. And the average CTC means highest CTC only one person or two people might get. But the average is something that almost every for everyone, it will be the middle range that you get. So that itself is 15.2 LPA, which is super great. Okay, and now, as I said, the competition is high. The competition goes like this. So if at all you want to get into computer science and engineering in RVC college, 
this year the round 4 cut off so round there are four rounds that happened in comet k the last cut off was 692 so if at all you had a rank within that then only you could get into this so basically when you're paying fees and you're getting and you have uh, what do you work really well you have got your marks and you are getting into this college and you're getting this particular uh, what do you call seat with uh, this much package don't you think it's worth it obviously yes obviously yes in that case do you think paying that much amount of fees is a bad deal obviously no get it if at all you have other options kudos that's a great thing but if at all you are someone who do not have multiple options in front of you and the other options are way more costly this is one thing that is best for you and i must say every kcet aspirant should have this as a backup option as well not as a backup option as a parallel option okay kcet and comet k should go parallelly because if not through kcet then through comet k into the top colleges okay so for comet k there are few colleges almost 150 colleges are participating and in that to be honest there are the first top 20 colleges would be the best ones later on if it comes then i don't think you would have to you should be going ahead with that but the, if you target the top 20 colleges are there that would be that would be more than enough okay so please understand that and over here i am going to talk about the top five colleges so the next college is ms ramaya institute of technology again you have these many courses this was the cutoff of computer science and engineering it was 1667 the closing rank was 1667 so if at all your rank is within that you get this and what was the highest package it was 50 lpa there it was 56 here 50 lpa the average was 7.6 lpa still not bad okay so this number is something that we have to target i know not everyone gets it but if it, some we do not know probably you can be the next person who get it right so that should be a target and i'm not saying you that okay uh, your ma'am is chumma motivating for no reason it's not like that listen this video whoever is watching this video you can watch it in two cents one is just to watch the video and go take the little amount of information and just go to bed and do your regular work for some people it's like after watching this video they will be determined they will be putting some efforts into this exam as well and probably they might do what others are not doing they might work on it and they might get it so i want you all to be in the second category and if you're in okay if at all you think that this particular video had helped you in some ways in giving you an alternate option when you were not having any clarity about what you should be doing then do not forget to hit on the subscribe button right now because you will get you will get so many what do you call information regarding such examination in the near future and in the best possible way okay so do not forget to hit on the subscribe button right away and share it with your friends also now going ahead with the third college that we have in hand that is bms college of engineering basanagudi bangalore itself here you have these many courses computer science and engineering the closing rank was 5312 and for karnataka aspirants my dear children for kcet the rank is slightly tougher to get in but over here it's a bit easier i'm not saying there's a vast difference but it would be a bit easier for you to get in through comet k as i said have that as an option that's all I'm not saying this work really hard for Comet K and forget KCET. Work hard for both of them equally. It will pay you off because both of them are following NCRT. Both of them, basically, my dear children, have more priority for your PU2. So this all counts and both of them are MCQ based as well. Cool. Now for BMS College, the highest package this year was 51.5 LPA. The average was 11.4 LPA good right and if you see the uh, higher package and average package for the other years also it's not bad so 36 lp 30 sorry 38 lp 33.1 lp it went like that and now it has a drastic jump to 51.5 lp and the average to be 11.4 okay now going ahead with one very important news if at all you feel that you have got an idea but do not have any knowledge about what to study how to study how will i manage pu2 boards how will i manage kcet how will i manage comet k then there is a course for you guys which is kc90 so initially we launched it in an offline mode where you had to come at Diksha campuses and study with the faculties out there. But then we saw certain requests coming from people who said that ma'am it would be or ma'am sir it will be better if you make it online as well. So now we have offline and online of online version of it. So KC90 is a 90 day crash course aiming for both of your examination that is KCET as well as Comet K. And so there is, since there is one thing in common that is PU2 which is why we will be covering 
PU2 syllabus, that is your 12th grade syllabus, and also 11th syllabus because as you know, in, in both of these examinations, 11th will also come, even though the priority is lesser, still it will be coming, right? So we will be covering both of them. Now, chapter-wise PYQs will be there, for example, it goes like this. In one day, there will be one short lecture of the chapter, then you will get KCT PYQs, where we solve it and we tell you and then you have Comet KPYQ video and then you will get extra DPPs, questions for you to practice as well. Okay, so that would be there. Now, Abhyas KCT and Comet K test series which was launched the previous year that will be here also. You will be getting it for free. So, previous it was launched towards the examination and uh, so many children actually uh, uh, said that it was worth it so definitely you should also be cons considering that and it's worth six thousand rupees but we have included it over here itself now pu2 test series will also be there more towards your board examination that test series will be released such that you can prepare for your boards very nicely so you can shift your focus to boards so the entire plan is like that it's not like we will be teaching you kcet through boards uh, through whenever you have boards as well no Okay, we know your school pattern, we know the exam pattern. So the whole timetable is set like that, that does not, does not hamper any of your maths. Okay, now live doubt classes will be there on one day, that is Wednesday. Downloadable notes and PDFs will be available and where do you get it? In the WhatsApp community. So there's an exclusive WhatsApp community for you guys who have enrolled. Now, ma'am, when is it starting? It is starting on November 1, October 31st, you have the live orientation class, my dear children. I'll request you grab this opportunity as soon as possible. And the link for that is given in the description box. Go check it out. The price for it is Rs. 9999. 9999 so initially the original price was this but we cut it down as an offer price for this okay now for if at all you're looking just for kct there is another option that is for 5999 if at all you're looking for comet k there's another option that is again 5999 but i'll request you go for this if you are focused on both kct and comet k okay if you both if you're wanting both then why not this fine cool now going ahead the fourth college out there, E058, Sri Jaya Chamaraja Indra College of Engineering, the Constituent College of JSS Science and Technology. So JSS STU, its sister college is SJCE, SJCE. It's there in Mysore, my dear children, and it's pretty good. It's just have one course, that is Computer Science and Engineering. The closing rank was 7156. The highest CTC, which was there for the year 2023-24, not 25, okay? It was 60 LPA and the median was 9 LPA. So for this year, they have not updated their website, which is why I could not take it up. But this is for the previous year. Cool. So this is the detail about the fourth college. And now the fifth college is what? Dayananda Sagar College of Engineering, Kumaraswami Layout, Bangalore. So you have so many Dayananda Sagar, do not get confused. The college code is also being mentioned over here, such that you do not have any confusions around it. Now, just a second, okay? I'm just a little unsure. Okay, I think it's for comic only. Okay, anyways, fine. So these are the courses that you have starting from computer science and engineering. The closing rank was 7,819 and it goes up to uh, this particular course that is medical electronics and uh, engineering, medical electronics engineering. So over here, the trend that have been followed, the highest LPA, okay, lakhs per annum, okay, if you see, was in the year 2025, 56 LPA was the highest. In 2024, it was 51 and 2023, it was 40. So it is going ahead, ahead, ahead. Okay, number of students plays, if you see the, it is 1181, it has increased drastically and the number of companies visited, there is little less, but still 350 of them have visited. Okay, but if you see this and this, if you compare this, kudos, the number of uh, placements are really, really high. Now, whenever I t t talk about a college, the first thing that you have to do is when you set your aim, go research about the college. Why do I say that? So when you see a college and when you, uh, every every single day, whenever you have time, you look about that, you basically are building a dream within you. And probably it's not, if at all you're just building a dream and not working on it, it will be really bad thing to do, don't do that. If at all you are someone who are building a dream and are ready for chasing it as well, then you should definitely do that. So it's like power of manifestation comes into action, my dear children. And if you think all of this, after watching this video, you have that urge to know more about Comet K, put it in the comment section that, yes, for Comet K. 
this should be your comment. Why? Because we'll get an idea who, who all of you, how many number of you uh, have watched this video and is thinking uh, for, what do you call, preparing yourself for Comet K examination. In that case, probably we would be mo making more videos aligned to Comet K. Okay, that is why I need this. Now, going ahead with one very important information, that is the dates. So, important dates to be noted for Comet K. First is, uh, the previous year, this was the timetable which was followed. So, on 3rd of February, the start date of application was being put down. So, my dear children, you can expect this Comet K paper, uh, what do you call, documents to be coming out from the month of Feb itself or later Jan or Feb. Once your pre-boards are done, they will be giving it. Once the JE exam has been done, the applications are open. And most of the children they do not know that. So JE examination didn't go well and they'll be like, oh my God, what will I do? I do not have any idea. And they will go randomly pay money in some private college. That will be way too much. Which is why I'm telling you, this is a good option. Okay, you know it now itself. Now, and do not think your JE exam is not going to go well. It's going to go well. In that case, you do not need this. But if at all, you need have backup, have a backup. And it goes like that, when is your exam? So it happens in the month of May, my dear children. Previous year, it happened on 10th of May. So your KCT examination happened by mid of April, that is 15th April. And from 15th April, if you see, 10th of May, there are almost 30 day, almost 25 day gap is there actually. Um, so almost a one month gap is there where you can prepare ardently for your Comet K examination as well. So if at all you're summing, pre someone preparing for KCET and worried about now about Comet K, I'll be making a separate video on it as well, how you should be managing both of them together. Okay? Now, if at all you need that, let me know in the comment section that, yes, ma'am, I need it. So all of it, if at all you have seen, my dear children, when you asked for Comet, sorry, KC90 crash course online, you commented and we did it, right? So if at all we feel that it's helpful for you, we'll definitely do that. So that's all. No more talking. And please consider this particular exam. Do your own research for this particular exam. And I'm telling you, having a backup option is always good. It's always good to have a plan B, okay? So if at all you're someone who is preparing for KCET or Comet do not forget to hit on the subscribe button and share it with your friends also who are in need. Wishing you all the best. Please take care of yourselves. God bless you all. Ta-da!